Howdy everybody in YouTube land. I mentioned that I wasn't going to do a video on this board, but um, I went ahead and I'm going to do one anyway because I ran into a predicament. So, uh, okay, anyway, without further ado, I went ahead and I recapped everything on this board. I placed these two caps and all the tantalums and I even reworked the Q1 and Q2 with new ones. It looks ugly, but that's the best I can do it because the pads were gone, except for maybe two. So I had to have some anchor to and I had to run a wire and, you know, all that fun stuff. But anyway, so I borrowed a ROM SIM and RAM and now I've got a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the system. Up the system here. Get the board in position. Put this guy in here. La la la. Unplug the CD drive. And then we'll grab the jazz drive. Put that guy in. Drives plugged in. Go ahead and put the jazz disc in, turn it on. But here's our problem. I don't have the sound plugged in, but the sound does work. So I know my fix worked properly there anyway. Trying to hold a tripod in a weird position. Nothing. Not a single thing. But here's the strange part. It's flashing the disc like it's trying to communicate with it. But it's not working. So, what we're going to do is turn the power back off. Grab our rigged floppy drive manual inject. Put our disk in place. Sit there. Okay. And I went ahead and set up Apple Talk on that computer there. So, this way I can get to my local talk utilities. Go ahead and plug that in. I'm going to plug in our keyboard. The keyboard is now plugged in. Then i got to figure out where to position this goofy keyboard to try to figure out where I want to put it. I'm trying to work around the tripod and everything else. So, now that's a fun mess. But anyway, let's go ahead and start it up. This is going to take a little while to start up. brightness down that way the camera doesn't complain because that's going to take a minute or two to work this is a system 7.5 NAD which isn't very fast 
pretty hoggish operating system if you ask me, but what can you do? You know, this has my local talk drivers on it. Hopefully it picks up the local talk network. It should, as long as the SCC chip is working. Because it could be a break in the board that's stopping communication between both chips. It's hard to say. Nope, we got it, so... Uh, your keyboard fell out. So let's get ready to mount my uh, apple share volumes. So we can at least figure out what's going on with them. Maybe the maybe the jazz disc got corrupted, I don't know. It's possible. But somehow I doubt it. But again, you never know. I did try booting it a thousand times, so it's possible. There's my two network shares. Still trying to start it up. Trash can. Not my network shares. Let's try SCSI probe. Go ahead and launch SCSI probe. You can see the little Apple Talk communication symbol where it's booting from the network. I'm trying to read the file from the network. Hmm. That's strange. Never seen that before. See, it's not complaining about a termination issue, but it clearly see the drive on ID4. Let's go ahead and try to map now. Options, let's see, install volume. Um, hold on, let's see, update. Huh, no data. It's not coming up. It sees something on ID4, but it's not putting up any data. That's weird. Okay, let's try the another utility here. Let's try Micronet. Huh. That is strange. Trying to read it from the network. It's going to take a minute because it is coming over local talk and local talk runs at like 200k a second or something. Of that magnitude. I don't even think it runs that fast. The serial port's capable of going at that speed, but I really don't think it's talking at that speed. Drive search. Let's see what we come up with. ID one, two, three, ID four, found something. That's hanging up. Oh, wait a minute. No data in phase and recapacity. Data out no step. What the heck is that? I've never seen that before. Never. Hmm. Well, it is a protected volume, so I mean, it's. Well, that doesn't make sense. Well, crap. This might be a fail. Um, one more, let's see. FWB hard disk toolkit. This is the program I was talking about in a previous video. Let's try it. No, I didn't rehearse this video. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this at all. I was expecting maybe a corrupted boot sector or something like that, but no. I did not expect this whatsoever. This is new to me. So you're getting raw, uncut video right here. What the heck? Alright, well, let's try this and see. Because this is the program I use to format my jazz disk. Well, not format it, but prepare the partition and the disk driver. is done in this program. So let's try it out. 
taking a while to load off the network. Having a network is handy, especially if you don't have a hard drive handy. And in this case, it wouldn't read one. Um, yeah, I didn't expect this at all. Sheesh. It's taking a while to load, longer than usual. Chain. So then, let's see. Hanging on the skin. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Not even a hint of anything. Huh. Yeah, that's weird. See, that concerns me because that tells me the SCSI chip is bad, which uses a NCR 53C80. Let's just go ahead and quit everything here. Shut all this down. Shut all that down. Shut down. So that's the thing. Um, see that uses a national cash register. I'm assuming that's what that stands for. 53C80. It's very possible that that chip is bad because I have read instances. I personally never experienced it. But I have read instances online that these chips were notorious for failure. That particular brand. So, I mean, it's possible it went bad, but... I don't know, that's awful strange, because normally when they go bad, they don't even work at all. They don't scan the bus, they hang at startup. They don't even begin to see anything. This one at least detects a drive, or de de it detects the presence of something on ID4. So, I mean, how is that even possible? And that's what this, that's what this zip disk is set, or jazz disk is set at, is ID4. That is strange. Hmm. Definitely going to have to look into that further. I guess the first thing I can do is check. Well, no, I can't do that because I did test power here. And before I made this video, I tested power here because it wasn't booting. Um, and it, everything was good. So I guess the next order of business is checking the continuity pins between all of the connections to the SCSI port and the glue logic. We'll see where it goes from there. Thank you for watching. Well, fellow YouTubers, I'm, I think I found the problem. What I ended up doing was I tested all the pins on the chip, and it's a 44-pin PLCC package type. Well, here's what I found. Pin 39. Pin 39, yeah connects to, according to the schematic, pin 39 of this chip is data bit 2 on the SCSI bus. Well, this is data bit 0, data bit 1, data bit 2, nothing. Got nothing. So, uh, we got fail. So data bit 0, data bit 1, data bit 2. Nothing. Open circuit. So what we're going to do is we're going to flow that up and see if we can't fix it. And hopefully we'll be good to go and the SCSI should be operating correctly now. Hello everybody. I went ahead and repaired the connection 
and actually it's kind of an ugly repair but as long as it ain't going to short out and it's going to work it ain't going to matter so what we're going to do is we're going to get the thing set up to make sure hopefully it works I really hope it works and it's not a terminal failure so as you see I'm going to get ready and check the connection again data bit 2 it's now good okay so cut the soldering iron off move my stuff out of the way wrap up the solder Next, the uh, jazz drive, plug that guy in, there, grab the jazz disc, power cord, Hopefully, it'll work. Please work. Bingo! <laughs> there you go. That's beautiful. Just beautiful. Let's grab the keyboard. We're going to plug in the keyboard. Because <laughs> I can't punch in the boot password without the keyboard. Bingo. Beautiful. I love it. I know I'm weird, but it's almost like it brings a tear to my eye because watching a dead Mac come back to life. I know, I'm weird. But hey, it doesn't hurt to be weird once in a while. You know? Why not? There we go, YouTube. We got it fixed. Speaking of fix... I'll upload this video as soon as YouTube decides to fix the upload page because I've got two, three videos now I can't upload because they broke something again, speaking of breaking and fixing, but uh, we're good. Thank you for watching.